Chucky, we decided for the sake of our child, we weren't gonna do this shit anymore. No, you decided, just like you decided our son was a girl. He is a girl. He is a boy, goddammit. And he's the most promising killer I have ever seen. You should have been there, Tiff. You would have been so proud of him. I want a girl. I want a boy. You're tearing me apart. What? What? Doesn't what I want mean anything at all? Oh. Okay, interesting. Tell us. What do you want, sweet face? I think I want to be a boy. Yes! In your face, lady! But being a girl would be nice, too. Hmm. Well, which is it? I'm not sure. Sometimes I feel like a boy. Sometimes I feel like a girl. <gasps> Can I be both? Well, some people... Eh, no way. But one thing I do know for sure. I don't want to be a killer. Oh, uh, Glinda. Uh, Glenn. Uh, whatever. I'm so proud of you. No matter what happens, we'll deal with it together. As a family. Okay, okay, son. Wait a minute. I'm not going to let you poison our son's mind with your touchy-feely 12-step bullshit. If you two don't want to kill anymore, that's your loss. But don't look down your noses at me. I'm not ashamed to be a killer. I'm proud of it. It's not an addiction. It is a choice. And it is not something that you should have to hide in the closet! Whoa! Oh dear. Oh God. <laughs> well, 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 looks like Miss High and Mighty ain't so perfect after all. It was just a little slip. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. Besides, the f really had it coming. Well, what about my body?